We're going to name some muscles of the forearm. Let's begin on the radial side and to find the radius. Just remember, if we take a radial pulse, we'd stick our fingers in here near the thumb. There's a muscle on top that seems to originate back in the brachium, and it wraps all the way around and runs along the radius. This muscle is actually called the brachioradialis. Now, there's a smaller muscle running diagonally here, and that small muscle going from the ulna to the radius you can imagine if this contracted or pulled on the radius, it would actually roll the forearm over, or what we call pronate the arm. So since it's going to pronate our forearm, that muscle is named the pronator teres. We're going to roll this a little bit more medial, and again on the anterior portion of the arm, this would look a little bit confusing, so rather than start here, go up into the hand and you see this very large tendon here and it goes into the palm of the hand it comes back very long ways attaches to this muscle it's called the palmaris longus muscle and always come back to this as your landmark now these muscles are going to flex the hand and um, also it's going to flex the carpals you know the wrist section so when we go to the radial side of the palmaris longus. We call this the flexor carpi radialis. There's our palmaris longus again. And then on the lateral side, we have flexor carpi ulnaris. If we were to completely remove these tendons, you would actually notice that this very large muscle underneath would be very wide. That's called the flexor digitorum superficialis.